Hey guys, welcome back to Retrospect, and here I am with part two of my working on a big painting. As I said in my first video, this is a 14 by 14 inch painting, which is the largest I've worked on in almost four years. I used to work quite large in university. I would do like three, four feet by five feet, but I could never finish those paintings to my satisfaction. So. As I moved into a small apartment, I changed my mentality and was able to dial it down a lot and make stuff that I was really happy with. So size doesn't always matter, though I do find that I've been wanting to go a little bigger in the last few months and that's why I'm doing a 14 by 14. So here I am just painting in this one section. This happens to be Wonder Woman's underwear, sort of, her starry underwear that I've kind of patterned in this area and then abstracted a little bit. I had to actually go over that area a second time with a bit more paint because it dried in a bit of a patchy way, but it ended up looking really nice and smooth so I was happy with it. And you'll just see me going through and adding in more of the colored spots, trying to make sure the paint is a nice good consistency and that it dries nice and evenly. My favorite part is, of course, doing the black outlines. It's always the most satisfying part because it really brings together the, the piece overall. And this section is a bit of an abstracted bit of a Ninja Turtle's foot, I think. It didn't actually turn out to be the best part of the painting. I like the, the piece to the side of it that I'm working on now, but I don't really like that foot bit. Luckily, not every part of a painting has to be the most amazing focal point. So when I do outlines like this, sometimes the black gets a little bit out of control. And you'll see in this spot that I go back in with some of that Ninja Turtle green color and just sort of clean up some of the lines. Oftentimes it's a bit of back and forth with that, so I just sort of tidy up the lines that I've made too thick and then Sometimes I might even have to go back in with the black for a second time and just clean it up more. But here I'm just making tiny little changes and as I do the black outlines I will go through and tidy stuff up. Just making subtle little tweaks that the, so that the lines are a bit more smooth. And one of my favorite parts after that is peeling off the tape and you just see how nice and crisp that section looks. So satisfying. So this part I decided to do kind of an abstract pattern section. This is actually that pattern that you used to find on old school notebooks back in the day. I thought it would be fun to use this. I made it a little larger so it's a bit more cow-ish looking, like it looks like a cow skin, but it's not. In the last few pieces I've been doing, they've been on this 14x14 14 14 size wood panel. I've been calling the series Splice because I take sort of splices of different cartoons and imagery and interject them together. And in each one of those, I've wanted to add a bit of a graphic black and white pattern. So the painting I did before this one, I did kind of a, a chevron pattern, and this one I chose the notebook pattern. I think it adds a nice bold graphic visual to draw the eye and add a bit more visual interest. Also they're really fun to paint, if a bit time consuming. And here we go for some more satisfying tape peeling. I have to say this section, the tape worked a charm and it came off and it looks so nice. This is my favorite part. So I didn't actually film myself finishing this piece. I, I think I was just a little bit tired of working on it by the end, though I am still happy with the result. I kind of lost steam with the filming after I started filming this pixel section because it's just so time consuming to do these pixels. 
but you'll see in a moment I filmed a bit of a close-up shot of the whole painting. I really like how I did the, the big palm leaves in the top corner. That's, I think, my favorite part, actually. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one, hopefully sooner than the last time. Have a good one. Bye!